Okay, this is what I get for being rusty, apparently. Uh, so is this game not out on Steam yet? Nope, not out on Steam yet. It is, it will be out on Steam sometime this year. Currently it's in a, ooh, fledgling imp. Endless fledgling imp. Okay. Okay. Um. So the deadweights blow. We don't have any X cost, do we? I'm gonna go with Rage 3. And I'm gonna do Revenge Draw 1. Spikes might have been the better idea. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, put us up there. Drop the fledgling imp. Drop him. Okay, so they'll they'll die, but this is fine. Cause now I've got the now I've got the fledgling imp on cycle. I'm gonna let the train stewards go by if I if I can get them. Cannot be played in the pirate chamber. Unsurprisingly. And there's, like, next to no use for him. Uh, let's just torch him and wait. Because we want to get both of those imps on cycle fully. But yeah, this is this is a public beta. Uh, anybody that has access to the Discord can get access to this game right now. And honestly, like, I've put... Gosh, how many hours have I put into this game? Uh, 30 hours into this, this public beta, so. It's not necessarily, like, perfect by any means of the word. It's obviously still missing quite a lot, but, like, I like it. Okay, so let's just do this twice. Adaptive mutation, which turns me into a beast. Uh, I guess I'll put the train custodian down. I think we're fully healed, too. Uh, I'll be nice to heal the boss. That should get you bonus points. Okay, put him down. He'll just eat a hit. And we can't get any more, but that's fine. We are about as golden as we're going to be able to get. I do a lot of damage. If we can get multi-strike going on my, my leader, we are solid. Okay. Steel Enhancer is kind of always good. And let's grab the Pyro Chomper. I go for the Ritual of Battle, but we don't actually want that. Let's see, what's the leaderboard on the left for? Those are eight, eight other people, or no, 13 other people, I guess, total, uh, that are playing this game at the same time as me. Let's see. We want to go Merchant of Magic. The extra cash would be nice, but it's only 50. And if I can get double stack... Can't get double stack on the like balls. Okay. And I can't get rid of the garbage. Sucks a little bit. What do we... What do we get rid of instead? Actually, this is one of those situations where we need to get rid of the, uh, the conductors. Or the, the stewards. ASAP. Same thing with the Wildwood Custodians. Acid Rain's just gonna keep killing them. They're just as bad as dead weights, in my opinion. Huh. Mm. Do I care? Not overwhelmingly. I'm looking for something a little tougher. The the sweep would be nice, but this the damage scaling would not be good enough. Also, we don't need sweep. We need just pure raw damage here. Because, yeah, all these little guys are just going to get wrecked before they even make it to the top. Which is lovely. Uh, Raw revenge. Put him in the front. I gotta remember, I can actually torch my own dude. Uh, helps a lot. Put that down. Okay, he dies. 
keep healed. Get that. Okay, so now we've got Endless Energy, and we've got Endless Rage. Kill him. Get another one. Higher Chomper. Heal up. Draw more. Hmm. Okay. Acid Rain will kill him. That way we have enough. Yeah, main problem here is we're just not going to have enough draw, really, to justify a lot of these things. Sucks. A bit. Uh, let's see. Do we need the Pyre Chomper? I'm going to put the Pyre Chomper down. I don't think it's going to matter. Train Steward. Fledgling Imp. Keep putting the Pyre Chomper down. Hit my own dude. Let the rest of these cycle. There's the adaptive mutation. Okay, just in time. Grab that. Okay. Torch him. Torch my own guy. Get him back. Adaptive mutation. And we're good. So we actually need more draw per round, and we need more capacity. One more, specifically, so I can cycle both of my dudes simultaneously. Neither of the, none of these are good. And we could use Impish Scholar, probably. Yes, because that gets me my adaptive mutation back. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way. I need a smidge more. There's double stack. We still don't have anything to double stack. None of these are actually that good. Balls. Do I go for the Awoken Hollow? Not overwhelmingly. He'd be... He's actually a really good adaptive mutation candidate, to be honest. Main problem is he's big. Which reminds me there's something amazing that I can potentially do with that. Okay, and I do not want either of these. Does he get an additional 50 HP when you play the imp that redoes summon effects? He doesn't! The imp does! Uh, so, potentially, yes. If I get Transcend Imp on this run, we could potentially uber stack his, uh, his ridiculous summon bonus on the Imp, and then flip its stats around so it becomes, uh, a damage monster. So, yeah, it, it, it is actually quite worth it. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down. Ah, <sighs> shame about the dead weights. Maybe we can get the event that actually makes it so we get bonus damage based on how many dead weights we have in our deck. Okay, so I'm actually gonna swap him so he becomes goofy. The only problem is we don't have enough space for both of these guys. In my set up. Which actually, in retrospect, kind of sucks. Because this means I can't do any rage stacking. Um, I guess I'm going to just start killing him as fast as possible. will die. Okay. But yeah, I need I need one more. Okay, now he's gonna die. That's good. Everything is good. Keep doing that. Store my main guy. Damage him. Damage him again. Another torch. Not the most useful. Okay, so he actually managed to hit the boss for 60 damage. That's exactly what I was looking for. Final wave. Alright, now he's 
perfect. Okay. I'm going to put him down with the Impish Scholar, which gets me Adaptive Mutation back, which turns him into a bit of a beef chunk. Probably should have waited on the Adaptive Mutation, but that is what it is. So, we need capacity more than anything else. Alright, so let's do Impish Scholar again. Fledgling Imp again. Adaptive Mutation. So he is... He is Spook Man, and the boss is doomed. So we don't, we don't even need the boss at this point. The... Or we don't even need my champion at this point. We just need my Awoken Hollow. Uh, which actually means I don't even need extra capacity, necessarily. Um... Do we even need extra draw? More capacity means more imp abuse. Because we don't need the draw per turn, and we don't really need the energy. As long as I can get the Pyre Chomper early, ish, or that, everything else falls in line. I'll get the Awoken Rail Spike. And we're just gonna skip these. I've already got- I've already got my- my ridiculous dude man. Okay, some money, duping. No, we want to go for the Merchant of Magic. <laughs> I'm going to make Awoken's Rail Spike. Unlimited? And you may think, why? Why not make Adaptive Mutation reusable? And the answer is, this way I can repeatedly pull Adaptive adaptive Mutation using the Scholar Imp. Whereas if I did it on Adaptive Mutation, I'd have to wait for it to cycle through my entire deck every single time. But I have to make sure I don't get any other consumed cards. But I think this would be fine. Oh, what is the final boss? Devour your spells. Okay, never mind. Uh, we we wanted it on adaptive mutation. That's a good point. Okay, let's go back to purging. We should get rid of. Honestly, at this point, train steward and wildwood custodian. I don't need either of those two. Okay, Wilkin Banner has. I'm not going to say garbage. It's not garbage. It's just good stuff. It's just stuff I don't need. And... Okay, you may be wondering why the hell I'm boosting that up so much. It's so I can kill my Awoken Hollow. Uh, let's see, and that'll be fine. We can work with that. I really like Acid Rain. It, like, you would absolutely think... Acid Rain is, like, the thing that would screw me over most consistently, and the answer is actually a very solid no. I'm gonna just let him kill him. We don't get the extra money, though. Which blows a little bit. Hmm. 
So for now, at this point, I might want to keep him alive. I guess I'll just steal an enhancer her so she's a little stronger. Okay, so we do a shit ton of damage. Only the strongest make it to the top, which is actually really nice. Fledgling Imp, Fledgling Imp, and Fire Muncher. It doesn't matter how much I can scale up that bot, uh, that dude. It doesn't change a thing. Imp, Imp. Fire Chomper. So maybe we do actually want some more, um... Maybe we do actually want some more draw here. And I gotta remember to use my consumed cards as soon as I get them. Okay, so we let's switch him around. It makes him fairly decent. I guess in retrospect, I should be putting these guys on the front instead. Well, it's a 71 100. That's pretty dang strong. So he'll just he'll just tank it. So the summon bonus, I don't actually get to swap nearly as much as I'd like, but it's fine. Uh are we even gonna be doing spikes? No, I'm just I'm gonna just take the cash. I say is we potentially get spikes. I'm gonna go for the engraft instead. And important work. Or Inferno. Let's grab Inferno. Important work would be nice, but we already have more energy than we'd ever need. Inferno, on the other hand, I can abuse. Uh, let's see. Go for the Merchant of Magic. Probably go for the Merchant of Magic. Okay, so we, we will have enough money to gain holdover. Okay, so here's questions. One, what do we do? Because I'm gonna make adaptive mutation have holdover, so I don't, I don't really need that. As silly as it is, we're gonna do that. Okay, I've got more than enough money, so let's give adaptive mutation holdover. Okay, so this this just got weird, and I'm fine with that. And we're just gonna keep it the draw one. My my main dude is kind of nothing at this point. Like, it's still pretty good, but compared to well, hmm, I think that actually just made him better than my Hollow. I'll have to decide on that one. Because the question is, I already have 80. Yeah, my main dude is a draw engine, which is good. I'm just going to put him there with the bonus energy. And my only problem is I can't get him to get hit a bunch. Sucks. Uh, let's see. Put the Pyre Chomper down. We'll do the Steel Enhan Enhancer there. Get with the Torch. Get with another Torch. Okay. Swap his stats around. 
Pop the Awoken Rail Spike, which gets me a bunch more. Alright. Tree and Grafts. Free Restore. I could pop the Impish Scholar, get more cards. What I should have done was actually torch the Pyre Chomper, in retrospect. Yeah, couldn't I put my Sentin in the bottom floor to get him hit more? Yeah, I should start doing that. Alright, I'm just gonna let that cycle. Okay. Then let's draw a bunch. Uh, let's see. Well, when in doubt, problem solved. Okay, we have Steel Enhancer. We've got the other fledgling imp. Steel Enhancer him. Got everything I could possibly go with. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, shit. We made it to the top. Uh, all right, change of plans. Okay, there we go. He will not, he will not survive. He may try, but he will not survive. <laughs> Poor Band-Aid. I sliced my finger open on a can the other day. Let's see, put him in the back so this guy doesn't get any stronger than he is. Alright, make him stronger. Get the Awoken Rail Spike. Let's see, we want to kill the Pyre Chomper, I believe. Okay, done that draw, get the Pyre Chomper back. Let's put the Pyre Chomper up there. Okay, so that gets me more. We have a bunch of Awoken Rail Spikes, but I've still got one more. Just to heal up. Clear space. Awoken Rail Spike gets me an Engraft. Okay, kill him. Engraft to get him back. Get more energy. Get the Impish Scholar down. Which gets me another Awoken Rail Spike. Uh, let's see, none of these guys are injured, so I'll just heal him. More Awoken Rail Spikes. Everything is free. Uh, let's see. Torch the Pyre Chomper. Oh, except for... Well, it's fine. We don't have enough energy for any anymore, but everything is good. Okay. Just get these guys down. Keep scaling that rage. Oh man, I almost I almost wish I had the uh the dude that actually gave me more rage. Uh like more rage damage bonus cuz that would be uh pretty strong. All right. Inferno to kill him. Torch to kill him. Inferno Impish scholar. Gets me another pyre chomper. Cool. Back here, keep swapping his stats up. Life is good, get another Woken Rail Spike. Even the most expensive card is good. Get that. So I gotta keep the torches around. We probably want to get rid of the restorations, though. They're not actually as helpful as I would have liked. That's okay. Like, they're fine, but I just don't use them. And that's it for, that's it for my hand. Alright. Well, I guess we should probably stack these guys in front. There's the Awoken's Rail Spike. I guess we'll just heal him for a second. Adaptive Mutation. Get that. Draw more. We want to kill this guy. Kill this guy. Engraft. Get the energy. Uh, I should have gone for the other guy. I just, I didn't have enough. 
It's fine. Boss dies anyway, so it didn't even matter. I'm just trying to figure out this this scale cycle before I do too much. Because we need better rage generation, that's that's for sure. We want the engraft. Free energy. Do I want imp in a box, or do I want important work? I want imp in a box. Even if it's a bad idea, I want imp in a box. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. So I don't have that much money. I'd like to purge things, but we've got two... I really do want to purge things. Getting rid of the restorations would be way more useful. Plus, I might... I... Mm, okay, let's take a look. Do we have an, any other trinket shops? We do. Because, yeah, purging my deck, getting rid of the restores. We don't need them. We don't honestly want them. Yeah, we're going this way. Because everything else contributes to heavy deck management. Even the torches are still useful, though I'll probably want to cut it down to about two. Gain double stack. Can't do a dang thing with that. We don't actually want to make anything cheaper. I, I know I've got Inferno, but making Inferno cheaper is pointless. I was, hope I was hoping I could remove Consume on the Imp in a Box, but it's okay. Alright, so this time around, I'm going to put my champion on the bottom, and if she dies, who cares? She's got Endless anyway. I usually put her up top to protect her, but that's pointless. And this will get me hella hand management. Pop the Awoken Rail Spike, don't get anything useful. Wait, they didn't- Oh, she applied armor to them, that's why. Okay. hit the boss. No dice. Okay, do I have the energy? Not overwhelmingly, but I'm gonna grab the infinite box back. Okay. Gives me a pyre chomper, and we get a warder helper. I'll put it there, I guess. We haven't... swapped our stats around properly yet. Okay. Wonder, did you do anything for Easter? I didn't. I probably should have. Okay. Gosh, I hate these guys. Whatever. We're going to engraft another rage imp up in here. We want to stack as much of that as possible. Thoughts, the molting imp. And let's do an Imp Scholar. Okay, we get the Awoken Rail Spike, so I can grab that, which means put this guy down. Awoken Rail Spike gets me a hell of a lot of stuff. Hell yeah! Alright. So I'm going to engraft, draw another card. Doesn't really help that much. Swap his stats around so he becomes ridiculous. He's appropriately ridiculous. Blast him. Blast my guy back, get another Pyre Chomper. Perfect. Uh, do I Inferno? Yeah, boss is here. Alright, Awoken Rail Shard. Gets me what I'm looking for. Get some sweet rum bread. Water Helper, and I don't have anything else I can do. This is a fun combo. I like it. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, so we've got a Rage Gen that we're looking for. We don't quite have as much survivability, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll work out somehow. 
I'm just going to stack those down. Unfortunately, I think we're going to get too many imps here, and my hands... Uh, I'm just not going to draw anything other than imps. So in retrospect, imp in a box might have actually been a bit of a risk. Uh, at the same time, who gives a shit? <laughs> we have imps. I guess I can also just let these guys cycle to some degree. I don't I don't have to use all of them. I guess I should have held on to the pyre chomper. Maybe. Really, the true answer is we just needed transcend imp uh, to throw into this entire horror mix, and then everything else is easy peasy. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna drop an Imper Scholar, get me an Awoken Rail Spike, everything is golden again. Drop that hello stuff. Alright. Engraft. Engraft. So I've got some energy back. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just drop the Pyre Chomper. Question is do I go for the kill? Hit the boss, go for the kill. Drawing more would be an issue here. Hit that guy. Oh, he gets the armor harvest for that. That's less good. Now let's draw more, figure out what we got. Obviously, we get him back. Steal and answer him, which I guess is kind of pointless. Alright. I'll just get rid of him. Mild problem solved. Alright, pop the Awoken Rail Spike. Get my Sentient. Restore. Draw. Get another Pirate Chomper. Get the Impish Scholar down. Pop another Awoken Rail Spike. Kill him. And, I don't know. This is fine. They'll just keep hitting the Imps in the front. I guess the one problem is, uh, that one, one dude. Okay, there we go. Got it. Boss will die. Keep swapping his stats so you get stronger. Grab another one of these. I've still got some energy. immediately the best. I'll put that down with him. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I wish I had some kind of, like, draw on death situation that I could roll with here. But it's fine. We are good. Flip his stats around so he is a beast. Uh, drop the Pyre Chomper. Drop the Impish Scholar because the only things that I got on Consume are really useful cards. Adaptive Mutation again. Uh, let's see, another Pyre Chomper, in fact. Cycle more! Alright, Engraft. We want to torch the Chomper. Drop the Molting Imp. Torch myself. Get the Pyre Chomper. Okay. Get me with Inferno, which sadly does not let me draw another new card, but so be it. And he's not injured in the slightest, so we're all good. Alright, come to my floor, boss. You will be beaten with the full force of this schmuck. Swap, keep swapping his stats around. 429, 422. That's pretty strong. Draw the Awoken Rail Spike. Well, not really A-team quality, but that's okay. Fight me! You fail! We are strong! So what do we do? Draw extra cards, fit more dudes on the floor. I'm gonna get Spike of the Hellhorned. Oh, shoot, I could have gotten the thing that gave me the X plus three, couldn't have I? 
at the very start of this run. Dang it. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. The bonus three rage is totally hell. <laughs> Made a mistake. That's okay. Let's go for the Merchant of Steel. I keep. I want to keep purging things. Duping anything at this point would be silly. Uh, let's see. So yeah, let's let's just keep keep getting rid of the restores. Their albatrosses, pure and simple. I care not for their them. Hello. I will wait. I'm gonna see if I can get him first strike or another multi strike. Just just because. I'll get the money. Somebody said there was a money bonus in this game. I'm sure there is. I never go for it, though. Okay. I gotta take a short break, though. Let's take a look at this boss fight. Because, yeah, we already got the Merchant of Steel. We already have multi-strike on my absolute beast of a creature. That's easy enough. Yeah, I really... I really like Acid Rain. I always thought Acid Rain would be, like, something that would screw me over, but instead it's actually, like, kind of incredible. Um. Put him down. He may die. He will die. But that's okay. Because hopefully we get... We get to trigger a summon bonus again along the way. I probably should have actually nuked one of these guys. Mm. Right, I forgot they're suicide bombers. Okay. They're all gonna die on that floor. Let's put him down. Let's do. Fledgling Imp, give him, a, give him a bit of rage. Imp in a box up here. Gets me a Pyre Chomper. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Then our options are... I guess Scorched Earth. Drop the scholar gets me an awoken rail spike. Drop the other scholar gets me back my imp in a box. Imp in a box gets me not what I was hoping for. Put the welder helper there. Toss the molting imp down. Get that. Get the fledgling imp. Not great. That one guy is going to get past. We haven't taken too much damage. Okay. So I'm going to put him there. Boost him. Armor him. Defend him. Get a Pyre Chomper down. And that gets me another imp in a box. Which is useful. But a bit... Bit messy. Because I've, I've got to get this. Otherwise we're in, in trouble. Okay. So let's start with the adaptive mutation. That makes him a lot tougher. Give me some energy back. Okay, I've got another fledgling imp. Let's, um... Torch that fledgling imp. Get this one down. Toss this pyre chomper down. That guy... Do I do imp in a box, or... No, let's just do an another awoken rail spike, which... Doesn't really pan out. I have too many awoken rail spikes. They need to go away. Let's see, the extra 15 health might have helped me awoken hollow until you get adaptive. Probably. But I can also just use imp wall tactics, uh, which served me uh, arguably well enough. Alright. 
Get another Awoken's Rail Spike. We are good. Draw a buttload. And yes, I would argue that a buttload is very much an accurate measurement. Alright, let's think on this one. I do have another... Okay. I got another Pyre Chomper. Put him down. Hit him. Hit him. Get the Pyre Chomper back. Okay, so now I've got a silly amount of energy. Not exactly the best situation. I'm gonna put down the Molting Imp. Takes out that guy. Okay, guaranteed death on him. Grab the Impish Scholar. Gets me the Awoken Rail Spike. But do I wait? The answer is yes. Uh, do I just Inferno the bottom? Yeah, I'll just Inferno the bottom. Get rid of a lot of them. Alright. Gets me my combo back. Get them down. Get the other Pyre Chomper. Life here is good. Kill the Pyre Chomper. Hit my dude again. Get the Pyre Chomper back down. Kill the Pyre Chomper again. Might be premature, because I'm probably actually going to use the Spike of the Hellhound on him instead. Alright. That'll do. Wonder wants some Tuna Alfredo. Nah, I'm good. Though, I guess in retrospect, uh, it reminds me of a meal that I haven't had in a while that I'm kind of craving. Uh, there's a restaurant sort of nearby... Uh, that is closed down, probably, just like everywhere else, uh, called uh, Sweet Tomato. There we go. I was going to call it by its old name, but that's that's its dead name. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure they've, they've been shut down like everything else during the quarantine. But they have a absolutely lovely tuna tarragon. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a pasta salad, cold salad kind of deal. And it is delicious, and I've I've been craving it a little bit, but can't do too much about that. Not in this situation. Okay, adaptive mutation on him. Graph for a little bit extra energy. Holy crap, I have a lot of extra energy. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to do that. Let's do an imp in a box. Woken rail spike. Uh, she. No easy way to get a draw, so maybe I do want to get, uh... Maybe I do want to get my hands on the... Uh, not impressive work, it's, uh... Is it impressive work? Whatever the, whatever the imp, uh, kill an imp, get a bunch of energy thing, that might actually be a really good idea, considering the weird-ass build that I've got going for me here. Ah, uh, boss is up already. Important work. There we go. Impressive and important work. It, imp puns are blending together in my head. Put the boss, uh, not the boss down. Put my champion down. Life is good. I guess... Do I pop the Pyre Chomper? The real question is, no. Nah, I'll just wait. I don't really need it. There we go. I have Hella Cards. Oh, but I don't have my... Eh, that's fine. Okay. Get her down. Get the two Fledgling Imps. I'll just Adaptive Mutation. <laughs> You came to the wrong neighborhood, boss. I've got my bruiser hanging out in the back. Uh, let's see. Hell? Yeah. There's some free energy for you. Uh, I do not want these. Channel song would be hilariously rough with all of my imps. And there's important work. Love this game. Can't wait for it to come out. It's super good. It is... There are a ton of deck builder roguelikes out. 
but this one takes the cake. It's super, like, it's right up there with Dicey Dungeons and Slay the Spire. Ah, let's see. Do we want to purge? Not overwhelmingly. But let's go for the artifacts. Let's see what we can get this way. I also have a shit ton of cash. I have no idea. What to use it on? None of these are useful. Balls. I mean, I guess I'll get Gerg's Goad. It's probably a mistake. But we're on our last fight. So I guess we might as well buy everything. I guess the spikes were useless, but whatever. Uh, do I go for the rejuvenate damage bonus? Yeah, I will. Let's see, I feel like this one has more replayability than Slay the Spire by the sheer amount of combos. Sort of. The main difference between this and Slay the Spire is Slay the Spire is like kind of single character focused. This one's a little bit more spread out so you can do a little bit more with it. I would say though Slay the Spire is potentially... Potentially better? If only by merit of the... Um, or If only by merit of the the mods like the amount of modding that you can do in Slay the Spire really does put it above and beyond uh, compared to quite a lot of other uh, games on the market because there's there's a lot there and there's a lot of really good stuff there too um oh right already squandered important work and engraft and some other things. Okay. Oh, well, that's gonna make this exciting. Okay, there's adaptive mutation. So, life should be good. Let's start with Fledgling Imp. Fledgling Imp. Adaptive Mutation, which is the only spell that won't go away, which is good. Endless Summon gets me an important work, which is everything I was hoping for and more. Gets me some more energy. Pop Imp in a box. Fledgling Imp, Pyre Chomper, right off the bat. Now, he's not one that's going to reset my stats. So the question is, do I want to gain 26 armor, or do I want to draw a shit ton of cards? I guess... Let's burn the torches. Let's pop Awoken Rail Shard. It's slightly more important that I just pair my hand down to the bare minimum. I think. Uh, let's see, get the other Pyre Chopper down. Let's see, do I have anything else? No. Do I want to do Spike of the Hellhorned? Or do I want to do Adaptive Mutation? We're pretty much running low on immediate cards. And I guess that's okay. Let's do Spike of the Hellhorn. Go for the bonus damage. Because we want to scale him up ASAP. Only problem is, much of my hand is just going to be my, uh... My imps and those dead weights. Which I never really did find a solution for. Well, not that they really desperately needed one. Okay. There we go. So... Him, him, him. Adaptive mutation. Continue to make him ridiculous. Drop the Impish Scholar here. Gets me an open rail, rail spike. Which is good. Give me everything. I desire... Okay, and draft. We have a second pirate chomper. 
let's kill this Pyre Chomper. Go back up here. Swap his stats. Pop the Awoken Rip. Real Shard. Cycle it. I guess this does mean that uh, we're down to, like, minimal cards here. A little spooky. What Covenant level is this? One. There's no there's no co higher Covenant level. And the daily, the daily seems to always be Covenant level one. Uh, seeing as that is... That is a question. Okay, Imper Scholar down here gets me Imp in a box. We never did get the uh, the Awoken Imp, or the Awakened Imp. That's a bit of a shame. Getting him would have ma made this whole thing pop off in a ridiculous manner. Whatever, my hand will be just nothing, nothing but Imps. Okay. Molting Imp. Molting Imp. Imp Scholar gets me... Imp in a box. Nah. No dice. Water Helper. Rage! Eventually the boss will come up and say hi. And then things will get silly. So yeah, not as much... Rage, like immediate scalability. The main thing is, uh, the main thing that makes this build work pure consistency. Just how freaking ridiculously strong that whole setup is. Alright, let's get her back down. His reasons. Ob obvious reasons. Get those. Pop the Impish Scholar in the back. Pop him there. Molten Imp in the front. Other Molten Imp there. We get the Engraft. Not the most useful, but it's okay. I do 637 times 2 damage, so there's not really a whole lot of, like... <laughs> I do not give a shit. Everything is solid. But yeah, I can't wait until they add the other factions with all their associated decks. Things will get so silly then. I remember when I was struggling to make this whole, like, draw champion work. I'm so glad we finally got to, got to that point. My hand is just full. Well, it's okay. I have an Imp army. An Awoken Rail Spike. Which actually doesn't help me. Does it? <laughs> Alright, in turn, we're good. Oh, he's hitting me. He's hitting my ridiculous monster. All right. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to one-shot the boss when he came up to the top, but he kind of avoided me. That's okay. And how'd we do score-wise? Not the greatest. It took some damage, and we definitely didn't kill bosses early. But, like, I have never really cared too much about my high score on this one. It's more of like, hey, did I beat it? Holy shit, I'm at number 87. People have gotten into this hard and or that was a bad score. It's a bit of both, really. Eh, it's fine.